I think the core values that really drive the food bank are sharing in such a way that it gives our customers dignity, bringing abundance and, and just nourishing their lives in ways that only meeting their basic needs can do. We have a, a great foundation right now and we are poised to do even greater things. Nancy Forsetta, who just came on board as CEO, has demonstrated a passion for our purpose, for serving our customers. Uh, Sarah brings a, a passion and an insight from the board level and is now bringing that to the operational level. And we're very excited to see the outreach that she does to expand our reach. I'm Nancy Forsetta, and I'm the CEO at the Food Bank of San Benito County. The mission of the food bank is to make sure that there's no one in San Benito County that goes hungry. We're committed to dignity, sharing abundance, nourishing lives. We want to make sure that everyone that we serve feels welcome and included. I really connect with the community. The community has been incredible to me. I grew up in Trespinos, so I, I couldn't be happier to come back. And I'm very, very happy to be part of the food bank. My name is Sarah Nordwick, and I'm the Director of Community Engagement and Development. I've always had a passion for helping people. And what greater need is there and what greater mission is there than people who are hungry? making sure that our future is fed and our kids, that no kid goes to school hungry, making sure all of our community members are fed has always been something that I'm passionate about and I'm excited now that I get to actually implement that and work here. Our mission statement includes dignity. The reason for that is we really want to give the power of choice to our customers. Let them come in, pick what they want, feel that dignity, feel empowered. During this time, it's a little different because of the pandemic, but the food bank has stepped up to meet those challenges with solutions. We have implemented a drive-through system where our customers still receive the food as they did during the normal marketplace time, just in a different way. Yeah, my name is uh, Victor Alarcon, and what I do as a warehouse manager, I take care of all the food, what comes in, and actually what goes out. And then when we make bags, I usually try to give uh, like four to five different type of vegetables and then some dry goods also too. I'm a people person. I love working with people. Um, I like to help them out and stuff like that. So this, this, is, this, is, my, this is my, my, I could say my calling. This is what I love and yeah. I am Patricia Hawkins. I am the Director of Administration. So I've always wanted to join an organization where I could kind of get the best of both worlds as far as helping people and doing what I love. And I've definitely found that here at the Food Bank. We have some pretty exciting opportunities coming up with the mobile pantry. The mobile pantry is going to be a refrigerated food truck essentially that will be stocked with produce, which means we should be able to target more people that aren't able to make it out to the food bank for various reasons, whether it be they don't have car access or they just can't come on the distribution days we offer. We have seen a big increase in a need in our community and we really want to fill that gap and make sure that all of our customers are not hungry. Yeah, the pandemic has hit San Benito County particularly hard. So we're calling on volunteers to come back. We have a very safe environment. We're following all of the county and state guidelines for COVID protocols so we have a safe place and we really do need our volunteers to come back and help us continue our mission and getting the food out. I walked into an incredibly great organization. The staff is committed. They've been here for years. They know how to run things. Completely dedicated and committed to our mission. I think the future is really bright and it's really important for us as a leader in the community to share our abundance and I hope that we will continue to make sure that everyone in San Benito County knows that we are here for them and that we're gonna help continue to build their skills and offer more to our community as a whole.